Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Acres. I'm Henry. I'm down here in the studio. I'm going to start getting this drill press prepared for Irene to use it. Now I need to remove some shipping goop. It's not cosmoline, but it's like it. It's a uh, kind of waxy, tacky material. It's definitely on all of these cast iron surfaces. It's on the arbor here, and it's on the chuck as well. So I'm going to start removing this coating by using some WD-40 on it. WD-40 is, is a lightweight penetrating oil and it does very well at helping remove some of these heavier materials. Ah, nothing like the smell of machine oil. to make sure I keep these machine surfaces at least lightly oiled so they don't start rusting. This is a surface that you can clamp things to and you want to make sure that there's not rust. If you have rust it can affect the positioning of the attachments that you put onto the table. smells. Not bad, it just smells. I'm going to put some WD-40 on this rag and I'll wipe down the arbor. Now check the drill chuck to see how much goop there is in it. Now there's some, but it doesn't seem to have the same protective coating just seems like it's a light machine oil. Well, we'll check on that. Yep, just light machine oil. Cleaning up is going pretty fast. It's not really complicated just takes a little bit of time, a little patience. I do want to get this cleaned off. So I'm going to show you the primary accessory that I bought in anticipation of buying this drill press. Irene makes a lot of different pieces of jewelry, some of which require some larger holding capacity the drill that she's been using for the past, oh, probably eight to ten years, is small. It's also a Harbor Freight drill press. And I have a special vise for her use on that. It works pretty well. In fact, it works better than pretty well. It isn't ideal. It's not what she wanted, but it's what we could afford at the time. So, now that we can do something different. We're going to do something different. I'm going to lock this table in place. tight. Well, the table is still moving. I don't want that to happen because I have something that's pretty heavy that I need to put on here. Well, I'm going to go grab 
the special accessory that I bought specifically for this drill press. Now this is a cross-feed vise. It's called a cross-feed vise because you can move it in multiple directions. One handle moves it left and right, the other one moves it back and forwards. This tool also has some preservative on it. I think I'll go ahead and get that wiped off now too. Again I'm just using the WD-40. And as with the drill press itself I want to make sure that there's always some film of oil on this vise at all times because we don't want it to rust either. See if I can raise the table up a little bit more. This track is brand new, so it's a little stiff in some spots. I need to get this table up a little more so I can actually attach the drill truck. I'll probably put some grease on this track to minimize the amount of wear that happens when you're, when you're cranking it. That looks pretty good. Open the jaws of the truck up a little bit more. And there are several different ways to put things like this onto an arbor. If you notice it just generally starts to fall down. But there's something we can do to make that not happen and that is I'm going to use a piece of wood and then run this chuck down so it presses firmly against the wood. this is doing is it's pressing the arbor and the drill chuck together. Since there's not really any lubrication in here, there's a little bit, but there's not much lubrication in here, the two pieces of metal are going to stick together. It's going to come apart hard when I decide to take this chuck off again. And that is all it takes to attach the drill chuck to the arbor. Well, let's see how things start going when I turn it on. You 
probably can't see it, but that chuck is actually turning. I'll be checking the squareness of this chuck and the arbor to the work surface. And then I'll be looking at whether or not drill bits that go into the chuck run true. The issue is if there's a mismatch between the arbor and the drill bit, the drill bit will wobble around. Now I'm not expecting that to be a problem here, but there's some things I can do if it does happen. Well now that I have the drill press all up and going, the chuck's back on, the vise is here, I'm going to need to buy some very specific T-bolts. Those are things that slide into the table here and can be used to bolt this vise in place because I don't want it to move around while Irene's busy drilling things. This cross slide vise will allow her to position things precisely. The cross slide vise has several different ways of moving the vise jaws around on the table. You can move it left to right, you move it backwards and forwards. And you can also adjust how wide these jaws are open. This means that Irene can position her jewelry that needs to be drilled precisely. And I'll need to get a little bit of grease for these screws on the vise. Well, setting this up isn't a whole lot of work. It's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out. I have some other things I'm going to be doing down here. I'm going to be working on the digital vacuum wax injector to see if I can figure out what the vacuum problem is with that wax injector. And there's a few other things we're going to be working on as well. But that's something for another day. If you like what we're doing, click the thumbs up and the like so that you can get notifications for when we're publishing new content. Oh, and subscribe to the channel. That helps as well. Sometimes YouTube doesn't get it right. I've had channels that I've been subscribed to for many, many years go away mysteriously. And some of our subscribers have said, you disappeared from my feed. What's going on? Well, sometimes things happen with YouTube. So do yourself a favor and follow up with those people that you subscribe to, especially brainstorm makers. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, don't forget to brainstorm because we are